Thank you, Madam Chair, dear Vice uh, President. Uh, we are debating today a fundamental step in defining a European cybersecurity strategy that will aim at setting up a state-of-the-art cap capabilities in Europe. The new framework proposed by the Commission is a true answer to the need to coordinate Member States' efforts in cooperation with the industrial sector to grant our citizens and customers an adequate supply of safe products and services without depending upon imported solutions from non-EU countries. Thanks to intense negotiations in committee and the good cooperation achieved with the Rapporteur Julia Reda and the Shadows, we have now a solid and balanced text which ensures that the European Competence Centre will work as a coordinator to set priorities and avoid the duplication of initiatives in Member States in a, con in, in a good connection with ENISA's new mandate under the Cyber Security Act. Secondly, the Centre will award funding from the D Digital Europe Programme and Horizon Europe, giving a concrete support to research and innovation initiatives to reach the market stage. And thirdly, it will be possible to respect Member States' existing approaches to cybersecurity by allowing synergies between civilian and military applications, hence allowing pooling financial resources and avoiding overlaps of precious expertise. Last but not least, as a Rapporteur of Digital Europe Programme, I am very happy for the coherent and clear approach given to the governance structure of the Centre and its relation together with the National Coordination Centres with the network of digital innovation hubs foreseen under Digital Europe. Thank you very much.